What's up everybody, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Dominator Extreme D1 Steps from Go Rhino on this 2022 Toyota Tundra Crew Max. The tools we'll be using for this installation are a ratchet with a 12, 13, and 14 millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and get started. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're starting off underneath the truck. We're on the driver's side just behind the front tire. Uh, if you follow the rocker panel back, you're gonna find a couple of bolts that are in the rocker panel. Now you might just have some threaded holes here, but if you've got the truck from the factory uh, that's never had uh, running boards, you're probably just gonna have a couple of bolts there. Now this is where our driver's side front bracket is going to line up and install. So it kind of makes a Y up at the top and then it turns and this portion of it faces towards the rear of the vehicle. That's the orientation. If this is facing toward the front of the vehicle, that's your passenger side front bracket. So in order to get this installed, the first thing we need to do is remove these two bolts. We're gonna do that with a 12 millimeter. All right, next we're going to go ahead and install our bracket we're going to use the provided hardware so they give us a bolt with a taper at the top that's got an attached washer we'll put those in both of those holes we're just going to put that on finger tight for right now we're going to tighten it down until we tighten down the brackets to the board all right now we're going to go ahead and come back along the rocker panel we're going to reach our second bracket location here we're going to have two bolts kind of right on top of each other. Again, those are gonna to have to come out with a 12 millimeter. This is where our middle bracket is going to go. Uh, now, this is the orientation of that bracket. Again, the foot of the bracket that bends back is needs face to the rear of the vehicle. If it faces the front, it's for the passenger side. So go ahead and pull these out with a 12 millimeter and then loosely put in the provided hardware for a bracket. All right, now as we move back along the rocker panel, we're gonna skip these two bolts and come all the way back to our final two sets of bolts. We're gonna be taking these out with a 12 millimeter. This is where our final bracket is gonna go. It's gonna go the same orientation as the center bracket, and it's going to install the exact same way as the center bracket. It actually is the exact same bracket, so if it's facing the opposite direction, again, that is for the passenger side. Okay, this is your D1 step. This is the back side of the board. You're gonna notice you got a large open channel that runs the entire length of the board. It's because the way that the board attaches to the brackets is with these nut plates. Now these are a welded nut plate. You're gonna notice you got kind of a shelf that's on the top. That's gonna go to the top side of the board. Uh, and then these nuts are gonna be on the back side. This side is going to face the brackets. What we're going to do is we're going to slip two of these nut plates to the front side and then one to the back side through this open channel. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take the board to the truck and attach it to the brackets. It's really helpful to have a second set of hands to hold the board in place while you get everything lined up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lift the board up to the brackets. And as we're holding it in place, we're gonna move our nut plates to line up. And what I've got here is a provided bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. Let me get all three of them lined up before you tighten any of them down. Okay, once we get the board adjusted front to back exactly where we want it, we're going to go ahead and lift it up and then tighten down the brackets to the board. We're going to use a 14 millimeter for that. And go ahead and tighten the other brackets to the board as well. Okay, now that all the brackets are tightened down to the board, we're gonna go ahead and tighten the brackets to the truck using a 13 millimeter. Repeat the same on the rest of the brackets. Well, we just repeated the same process for the opposite side and that completes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.